mortal combat has always been and always will be. For millennia, the forces of good and evil have been locked in eternal battle over the control of Earthrealm. Some seek to use the tournament to destroy all that is good. Others seek vengeance, power, or eternal life. Time after time, each individual threat has been vanquished, and Earthrealm has enjoyed relative peace for many years. But there is concern that Earth is once again in peril. And this time, the threat of evil has two faces. It is now known that the sorcerer Quan Chi has escaped from the Nether Realm. Since his escape, Quan Chi has unlocked the secret of the ancient Rune Stone. Discovered the ancient undefeatable army of the long forgotten Dragon King. And most disturbing of all, formed an alliance with one of our deadliest enemies, Shang Tsung. With their combined strength, they plotted to overpower the only two beings who could prevent their total domination of the two realms. The first was the Emperor of Outworld, Shao Kahn. In a false show of allegiance, they sprung their attack. Then travel to Earthrealm by way of a mystical portal known only to sorcerers and deities. There, they confronted Earth's mightiest warrior and champion of mortal combat, Liu Kang. It has been Shang Tsung's desire to consume the soul of Earthrealm's greatest warrior. Quan Chi's assistance, he achieved this goal. Liu Kang is dead. They have since returned to Outworld and are using the souls of conquered warriors to resurrect the Dragon King's undefeatable army. Should they succeed, they will have the means to conquer Outworld and eventually Earthrealm. They will be unstoppable. I can no longer stand idly by and watch this evil consume the world. I have relinquished my status as Elder God to return to Earth and lead you all to battle against our old adversaries. We must act now. We must stop this deadly alliance. Welcome back to Pain Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance on this next day of my Mortal Kombat X countdown. Guys, it's getting so close, I can't contain myself. So let's get into this, shall we? screen takes you back now, doesn't it? It really does. Now, as you can see down the bottom right, there is a bit of um, an issue. Like, if this is an emulator as well, so, you know, there will be stuff like that on the words. I apologize for that now, but it's the only way I can sort of record this, because my PS2, unfortunately, is somewhere up in the attic, and I cannot really dig it out at the moment, because there's a thing my mom's getting like stuff. 
Ah, this screen takes you back now, doesn't it? All the way back. Look, as, as you can see, lads, down the bottom right, um, there is like that stuff all over the kind of um, the wording there. Uh, again, I apologise. This is an emulator. It's the only way I kind of record it right now. So in this one, what we're going to do is, is again, we're going to go to arcade, and then we're going to have a look at conquest. This is the first game that they had to go with the conquest in. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the crypt, and uh, we'll just throw in a few of the content things here as well. So let's go into arcade straight away. Obviously, I don't have everyone unlocked because uh, this is like the, sort of the first time we've had it doing this. So. Uh, how do I do random again? Uh, okay, just, just, yeah, just exit out of it. Sorry about that. Okay, I don't think I can do. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, random. Here we are. Who's it gonna be? Oh, of course, it's gonna be Scorpion. I completely forgot about this, this is awesome. Round one. Fight! I, I can remember some of the comments. Yeah, I can remember sort of. been a time where this is much slower. I'm just glad I can get it working as fast as I can. Oh my god, I cannot believe I remember that. I generally cannot believe I remember that. That is insane. And... That is crazy. Fatality. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> ah, that is. Oh, I cannot believe I remember that. That's nuts. Kenji. Ah, the things you remember, eh? Round one. Fight! So in this one, basically, um, you know, they had at least two fighting styles per character on this weapon fighting style. Um, the weapon fighting style didn't really do any more damage than the normal fighting style did. Which I kind of think it should have because, you know, it's a weapon. Um, still though, it's, it's pretty cool. They unfortunately they only had one fatality in this game. Um, I'm not sure why. I think I think the Deadly Alliance itself they more kind of focused on the like uh, conquest. So they didn't really have time to uh, go over like, some fatalities for each character. So, uh, kind of Which I didn't really mind too bad, but they did kind of get old after a while. I keep thinking there's a freaking up there. Oh, that yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Come on. Ow. Hey, I can do that too. Gotcha. 
Someone pointed out that the announcer in Dead or Alive is Quan Chi, and I can sort of hear it all right, but it does still have the kind of a Shao Kahn feel to it, if you get me. Um, then again, it just it's Round just good one. Me. Fight. Oh yeah, Mirror Mark, here we go. Camera. Boom. <laughs> that was a great action. I thought when he kicked the camera, it was crazy. He may. I have to say now, lads, uh, they've been given permission to Round use spawn one. in Mortal Kombat. I really do hope. Um, I think it'd be foolish not to. You know, it, I have a couple of things to say. Spawn is the first character for Mortal Kombat. You know, it's really for it, you know? Johnny K. 
cage. Round one. Finish it. Gotcha. wins. Sorry, I just thought I'd let you know. Throw that in there, sister. I didn't say it at all. <laughs> all right, Joe and Sonya. Uh, here we go. Test your might. Test your might. Come on, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. No, it's not going up any higher. That's me. <laughs> Woohoo! And yet I don't have a profile, so. You know, that's going nowhere. Round one. Fight! You're drunk for I forgot that was Scorpion. 
Come on, Scorpion, get out of there. Oh, wow, this is annoying. This is extremely annoying. Thank God for coming up. No one thank me. Nope, oh, I'm dead. Screw you, Joe. Round of three. Fight. Time for another random pick. Oh, for God's sake. Definitely not. 
Looks like scorpions down there. Oh, some zeros next to you freaking kidding me. God damn it. Round one. Fight! Puking now, aren't you? How's that eat you, bitch? next test your science. 
test your sight. I think this was the first one that they stuck test your sight in. Let me think. I don't think it was any of the other ones. Okay, so that's the one we're going for. <laughs> Right over him. Zero wins. That's bullshit. Round two. Fight. PC versions. It's kind of Round two. Fight. Oh, <laughs> 
start blocking. Uh. Oh, I really wanted to put a fatality on him. Put a fatality. Do a fatality on him. But I don't know. I'm in a rush. And I'm dead. So um, I probably added a lot of it out. So but you'll see it at the top right every time they die. Anyway. Fight. Cheap molecules, I mean, it's just ah, uh, it does annoy him. That's why I think he's like the most unfair boss in the entire series. Test your sight. Uh, 
Like I will admit, I did uh, edit out a few matches there because. <laughs> almost over. Have my luck. Back. Round one. Fight! <laughs>
I still gotta die about 50 times in this. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Don't care if people don't like it, that's all I'm using. Seems to work for me. Oh, People can hear it, I'm getting fairly pissed off right now. I've been at Mullock for about five sword and yet my two swords are still in my back. Okay. <laughs> I did edit out a lot of matches because you know I don't want this to go too long. Too long. But, oh my god, that was annoying. Fatality. Okay, it's over now. Let's watch the ending and then get on to the next part of uh, showing off Deadly Alliance. Ending. The hunt for Quan Chi had led Scorpion to the palace of Shang Tsung.
Scorpion entered the palace through a hidden passage. As he made his way through the lower levels, he was discovered by the two Oni he had previously encountered while in the Nether Realm. Shang Tsung had secretly allied with Moloch and Draman as a backup defense against Quan Chi. The two Oni had been hidden in an underground chamber and were periodically fed mortals to keep them satisfied. Scorpion fought well, but was overpowered by Moloch and Draman. Although they could not consume the ninja specter, they devised another means for eliminating their foe that would satisfy their cruel nature. The Oni brought Scorpion before the portal to the heavens that Shang Tsung had tapped as a source of limitless souls. They hurled him into the Solnado, and his hellspawn body was ripped apart by the purity of that realm. Okay, so I just went through the entire arcade mode just to die. Yeah! That's, that's gonna get people to keep going back to it. Well, there we have, ladies and gentlemen, for support coming down the lines arcade. It's frustrating as it was. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Screw Moloch. Screw Brayton. Uh, Alright, guys, um, the next feature that we're gonna have a look at real quick is Conquest. Now, there's like, Jesus, there's over 300, 300, 500 missions in it. We're only gonna do the first uh, few. Give it a kind of a um, look over. I think basically each character has about 20, um, 20 missions, 20 missions, I think it's 20 missions to go through. So we'll just pick someone and we'll just go through the first few. We're not going to go through them all. That would take ages and I'm on a deadline. Wonderful Mortal Kombat. That's uh, as frustrating as this particular was. <laughs> and I completely forgot how frustrating that was. Okay. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Carlos. It only took one take with him to get everything out. Yeah. Deadly Lines, we've got Deception, we've got Armageddon, and like I said, since we don't have MK vs. DC, I'm going to do something. I'm not 100 sure what I'm going to do. And then we're going to do Mortal Kombat 9, and then finally, please, the only day has arrived Mortal Kombat X. I'll be twitching it uh, from PlayStation uh, 4, and I'll probably be uploading it. Uh, so be sure to follow my Twitch account, it's down in the description. And then uh, on that OK day, I'll be recording away. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay guys, so we're gonna do it, like I said, we're gonna get, jump in here. I think the crypt, I need a profile, yeah, so I'll just grab a profile here. I'll come back to you. Alright guys, we've got ourselves a profile now. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do the conquest. So this spans basically, like I said, I think it's 20 missions per time. It is time, young warrior, for you to begin your worldly training. I have taught you much, but through your travels, you will attain a greater perspective. Remember my words, for they will guide you to your destiny. 
Yeah, so you start off here, and like I said, there's about 300 to 500 or so, uh, uh, fucking, uh, missions. I think each character has about 20 missions. So, so like, uh, this basically is just training right now. So it's like, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. As you go along, the the, um, the area, the environment around you changes. You know, it goes from the wooded area here to like a lava pit to like a rocked area um, to more like a city. I think um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> So this was the start of Conquest. Now, to believe me, it gets much better in the likes of Deception and Armageddon, and you'll see why when we get to those games. But like this is like this was their very first idea of Conquest, and of course, from fan feedback and all that sort of stuff, people said turn it into an adventure game, and they did that. Like, they did it um, in Deception. Uh, it wasn't as immersed as people were thinking it was going to be, but in Mortal Kombat Armageddon they nailed it, but if they kind of combine Mortal Kombat Armageddon's fighting mechanic with Deception's Conquest, it would be amazing, and like I said, I'm not going to talk anymore because people will they know I do. So we'll just finish up this one here, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's just a really quick look at Conquest. Um, <laughs> I suppose there's only eight missions. We'll go through all eight. Why not? Like I said, they're only they're only the real training ones anyway, so it's not going to be too bad. <laughs> and they also it teaches you a lot of the combos as well. So it's always good to kind of do this with just like the character that you do or something like that. Because you jump some sort of thing, you know. So. <laughs> I think this is teaching me the block attacks now.
Reptile. Let's go the way they showed all the different forces. to get an extra read of this thing. That's pretty much it for the uh, the eight or uh, training missions. So basically, you go back to the the.
character select screen now and you choose your character that you want to continue on the conquest with so it will teach you like their combos and also as you can see oh, okay so everyone has 10 missions sorry so training 8 out of 8 are done uh, there's 290 missions all together and uh, yeah that's a lot of missions really cool. um, but we're not going to get into that really uh, this is just a really quick look at uh, okay oh right I have to quit it from in the game I can't really do it from there Maybe. It was an interesting idea that conquest mode anyway. It took people a long time to finish it. Okay, so just to real quick, we're just gonna have a look at the first for a quick, uh, quick second. Ah, the crypt. The bane of my life. I just remember like you know, just trying to purchase every one of these. You know? They were just coffins. There wasn't like a. Uh, is there one I can buy here? No, there's not a quick way to buy things here. And I doubt I have enough for any of them really. But as you can see, like they all cost a, a decent amount of certain money. So you'd get that money from doing conquest by doing arcades. Crazy was, absolutely crazy. I always thought that the ones with the lights on them had like special stuff in them. Some do, some don't. You know, it's kind of a, it's a the coin. So that was the crypt. That was our first time in the crypt. And, uh, the crypt has come a long way since. All right, let's just uh, quickly just jump into the content here and see if we have anything. So, uh, and this is just going to show off some of the characters. Uh, yeah, awesome. So there's extras just here, I don't know if I have any of them uh, unlocked, I don't think so. No, I've got none of these unlocked at the moment. Uh, the making of MK is, there's a video of the making of Mortal Kombat Deadly Lights. i play that now in a second. There's MK History, which goes through the history of Mortal Kombat. I won't play that because it's a bit long and uh, we're going through the history right now. And then there's the Mortal, Immortal uh, Music video by Dima. I'm not going to obviously play that because so we'll just go quickly watch the making of MK here, and then I'm going to leave the video there. So let's uh, go. A typical day in Mortal Kombat starts with me trying to get in as early as possible. Most of the other guys in the team work late into the night, and in the morning I can get a few uninterrupted hours to program in the character's moves and plan things out for the rest of the day. Well, he takes his head off, basically throws it, sticks in the other guy's face, and then he kind of staggers there for a little while, falls back on his back, lays there twitching. And Kung Lao comes there and he lifts his foot up, steps on the guy's stomach, the hat flies up, he grabs it, and goes into like a cool pose. Then starting at about 9 or 10, most of the others start pouring in. And from that point on, the insanity begins. Hello, Steve. Hey. How's it going now? Oh, wow, that's cool. Wow, did you do that all like last night or something? I like that. I, uh, I finished the shank. Really cool. Whatever that is. Let's try and get the uh, the whipping right. It looks cool when it goes back in his chest. Uh, my main role in the in the on the team is uh, background design. You have the very European Gothic uh, flying buttress. 
and the very Asian uh, tower top. I made this single element, which I'm going to repeat. Right now you can see I've got textures on the model, but they're, they're merely placeholder textures. We got these hook swords. I don't know, maybe the Movado, just a regular stab. And they're all taped up, so when we capture, we get the good shot. The Tanfa. The Tonfa. The Sai, of course, you gotta have the Sai. The regular broadsword. There's more laying around everywhere else. <laughs> Welcome to Vogelland. Where I'm doing Shang Tsung's fatality. I guess each time he hits, like, I think souls come out. You know, and go into Shang Tsung each time, or each time they go up in the air. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. I just know what I have to do animation-wise. And Ed's going to say, okay, now the souls come out, and now they don't. Can you show me right where she makes impact? Where, where she hits him? Right... Here, you can stop. He doesn't, he, you don't even need him to do anything. Just not, don't even have him do any impact. This, I, if you can hand animate so she, you know, the impact propels her away. It's like a, 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 a jerk like that. Or, or we can do it in the game. Cyrex is going to grind him up kind of like a blender. His doors are going to open again. And body parts and blood ripped up flesh is going to come pouring out of his chest at the end. Tony's actually doing the blood, bloody stumps and bloody pieces. I do a lot of the um, whatever effects is needed for someone if they're getting, say, cut in half or something like that. Just with overlay on top and this part up here I haven't done it yet. Just kind of uh, be the uh, spinal column. So you get two in one here. Yeah, a lot of good use of uh, texture space. What experience do you have that would qualify you as motion capture talent? <laughs> Rolling. This was the acid bath, this was a Come concept on, drawing, and uh, basically I wanted these statues here that have these uh, churning bowls of acid inside it, and it's kind of like a, kind of like a Buddha, but demonized a little or something. It's a close-up, a head study, it would just gush, gush out this uh, uh, vomit, this, uh, this acid out of their mouth at the end of the round for a, fat for a background fatality. It's, it's, it's tedious. I'm trying to limit your geometry and still try to get a lot of detail. Blah. And I don't think he should have these subtle things. It should be like, ah. Making a video game today is almost nothing like when we worked on the first Mortal Kombat in 1991. Mortal Kombat 1 had one programmer, two artists, and a sound designer. That's it. Four guys. Whereas on Deadly Alliance, we have a team of over 50 people. We've been lucky enough to get some of the most talented people in the video game business. And on any given day, it's amazing how many different parts of the game are being worked on at the same time. A lot of what I do involves non-stop bouncing from office to office, checking out character and background designs, as well as all the technical hurdles we have to overcome. There's a lot of issues to deal with in producing this game for three systems simultaneously. So do you want, I mean, Tony said he thinks he could probably do all the characters in a day or two with four levels of damage. Is he kind of carrying but Really? Yeah, yeah just doing bases. Do you think you could do four, all characters in a day or two? I bet you I could. Oh, I just, just cut and pasting? Uh, yeah, I cut oh, and paste okay. same scars and stuff. Ooh. Doing a damage test. Do a beat up. Try to do a beat up version of Sub Zero and Lee May. Where are 
we're testing adding damage to players' faces. You can see a sample of the wounding on Sub Zero and another character. Man, that looks like. If you want to see it the bad way, spin it around. Oh, is that? Cool. It's it's like a new texture map for Sub Zero. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. that looks awesome. You know, you know that some of those images actually look better at 128. Because when you have that much data to scramble. Hey. How's that coming? Right now I can give you three levels. Alright, check it out. Here's Sonya's clean face. And this is level one. Just a few bruises and cuts. Two, I imagine, is the level that you're going to see the most in the game. And then uh, three should be like just insane. Just mm -hmm. over the top. Just that's looks weird, good though. though. Yeah, that's a weird. No, I mean, it, I think it's cool enough that uh, that it's worth the effort, you know. Brutal. Yeah. You want to launch that? I think I need to eat. Uh, let's go get uh, Tony or something like that. Lunch time. Good. Mmm, hoagies, <laughs> good. We're doing Lee Mace Fatality, and John needs um, the Maya model. You know, if it can have the texture maps too, that'd be cool. That's okay. Oh, fuck. I'm a dad. <laughs> That's even the closest one. Usable? Yeah. Uh, I'll give him the damn when he comes in there. Cool. Thanks. So it has digits in it, but that's what I, that's what I'm showing. Right. Let's store it. Oh. There you go. Look at that. And here's our test your mic problem. <laughs> warm up animations. Come on, Jax. You can do it, Jax. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Run. Run. Today's a motion review, and then at the end of it, I'll show you stuff for lighting review, etc. But at any point, feel free to throw any comments out there about anything. Just be aware that I might say, yeah, that hasn't been lit yet, or yeah, we know that. Because I just had my team meeting, and here's an entire list of notes that we had from today's review. The camera motion of the very first shot. Mm -hmm. It just seems a little quick. I have to tell you guys, There's the no ramp up to it, it just kind of starts of speed and it goes across. I know we need to kind of get there, amazing. so maybe we need to just kind of look at that shot against the previous shot and see if it works. There's some kind of problem with your work. Everybody okay. says there's a communication problem. What gives? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> just kick right oh, away. But, but, you know, do that, do that, do that, uh, for a bit. Ha! <laughs> Carlos is the life of this game. <laughs> this is, yeah, now Carlos. that I've got, uh, alternate Shang Tsung, I'm going in on the details and adding stuff like his back emblem right now. And so whatever detail you see, you know, in terms of folds and wrinkles and stuff, is all in the texture. It'll hide a lot. Let's open up his eyes a little bit, and it'll show you. you know, basically, you can get a lot out of a few polys if you just uh, weigh your vertices right. <laughs> okay, maybe you don't have to. You don't have to totally lunge out. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help that's me, good. Help me, I'm immortal. For blind Kenji's um, reaction. It's just Kenji. A little bit. I mean, you know, it's a difficult okay, work. Yeah, you, know, you have a bit of a laugh. The, the loop does series, not but... match uh, Look, like where their starting heads are. It's like, see his head right there? Mm -hmm. And then on the loop, look how far his head snaps back. I had to loop like the last I bit of frames in order to make I'm it so look. So I guess we're going to have to figure out a way to go about <clears throat> connecting the... Uh, each of the coffins with with uh, the amount of money spent. And right, we've got the database, which is going to tell us what's in each coffin, how much the coffins cost, uh, once the player opens.
opens a coffin, has to be marked in the player profile table. So how many coffins are there in this uh, crypt? It's a 26 by 26 array, so there's 676 coffins. Crazy. It's a lot of coffins. It's acting. It's the life, man. This is the life. So how's that motion work for you? <laughs> Things move so fast during one of our typical days that before you know it, the whole day's just flown by. Usually by then we're pretty exhausted, but we know the whole process starts all over again the next day. Tomorrow it's 7 o'clock. That's crazy. They leave at about half nine, they go home. They probably go to bed at about midnight, so like, it probably takes them about 20, 30 minutes to get home from wherever the you know, wherever they live. I mean, it's crazy. They probably get, like, no time for themselves. They might get the weekends off, but no time for themselves, probably at all. Right, guys, that's it for Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Um, uh, apologies that it's been, uh, like, I had to edit out a lot of the arcade because it's been asking so many times. Um, other than that, though, other than the whole, like, a lot of the content in the crypt I wanted to show, but no uh, coins and stuff like that. It was very funny because you got a lot of uh, videos like um, cooking with scorpion, which I'll actually include just after this uh, outro because it's actually very funny. And then um, there's uh, a few other things like you know uh, bloopers from my mythology, Sub Zero, and all that sort of stuff. So uh, be sure you, I'm sure you can check them out probably on YouTube and all. And, uh, that's it for me. So, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you all tomorrow for Mortal Kombat 7. And the next day again for Mortal Kombat 7. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. This week on Cooking with Scorpion. Learn about chopping, tenderizing, chopping, cake decorating, and chopping.